Hi, I'm Andrew Howe, graduate research assistant here at North Carolina State University. Today we'll be working with Shannon Regan and Tyler Harris. This video is uh, made possible for a partnership between North Carolina State University and NCC Grant. We'll be discussing how to properly sample hydrilla tubers within the sediment, within your water bodies. Hydrilla is a submerged invasive aquatic weed often found in temperate climates throughout North America. Here in North Carolina, we deal with the Monetius biotype. Now, the Monetius biotype overwinters using uh, subterranean propagules or tubers which form in the sediment within our water bodies. Hydrilla tubers have been shown to remain viable within the sediment for up to seven years. Now, determining hydrilla tuber densities helps aid in management decisions as well as determine where future hydrilla populations may occur. Now Tyler and Shannon will be describing both the sampling equipment and procedures for determining if there are tubers within the sediment. So what I have here is a tuber core sampling device, a four inch PVC corer. And here on top, we have a valve that creates suction. So we push this down into the sediment with the valve open. Close the valve, creates suction. Then we pull this out, place it in the sieve, open the valve, and it releases the core into the sieve. So here I have a sieve with one eighth of an inch mesh. It is placed on a PVC float. You can then shake around the sieve and get your hands in the sediment and work it through the mesh to get out all your fine particulate matter. And then you can look at what's left and pick out your tubers. So once you've chosen your sampling location, you'd like to take 30 core samples within your general area. If for some reason you don't have a core sampler, you can take a shovel and a quadrant, lay the quadrant on the bottom sediment, shovel out the inside area at approximately six to eight inches deep, and repeat that within the sample area four to five times. So now that you've sieved through your sediment core, you can now look for tubers. What you want to look for are these sweet potato shaped objects and they can come in a variety of colors and sizes. This is here is a brown one and one on our relatively larger size. Here's an example of a tuber that has already begun sprouting. As you're finding tubers, make sure you keep a running count at each site so that density estimates can be calculated later. Research conducted at North Carolina State University has found that tubers can range from just a tuber densities can range from just a few tubers per square yard to actually many thousand tubers per square yard. If you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more about Hydrilla, please visit NCC Grants website or contact North Carolina State University's Cooperative Extension Program.